certain I type just, of cuisine or like I just feel like they're ex- they're they're being a little too exclusive. You know? No, no, mm. I, f- I feel I see what you're saying again, but it's not like you can't eat not meat. How did they know that? They're not what as accommodating. Do you mean? I go to I go to a Kelsey's restaurant mm-hmm. or a Boston Pizza. Mm-hmm. They're going to accommodate me uh, based on what I would like to eat. They're going to do their best. I go to a place like this. I'm not. I'm going to get what they tell me to get. <laughs> well, they did have a menu. They had so we many were just speci- yeah. we specifically do a burger show, so you were kind of had a limited menu. Yeah. But um, they had one burger, so I had to get that. <laughs> so that so that was the burger. <laughs> um, I do, uh, you know, on behalf of, of meat eaters. Yeah, I do apologize for how you've been treated in the past. Mira. Oh man. <laughs> I well, know it must be very difficult. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm a pretty easygoing person, so I've, I guess I've accommodated, like, all the restaurants and all my friends mm-hmm. who have taken me to, like, a number of places. It hasn't been a big deal. But since you mentioned, I felt like I had to raise that argument. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, you got to be the voice of the vegetarian. Yeah. Of the, are you vegan or vegetarian? I'm vegetarian. Okay. I'm vegetarian did you, did you go through a couple of vegan phases? Did you try it out for a bit? <sighs> Honestly, I feel like I'm, um, I'm not, like, uh, somebody who, like, who enjoys committing to things for mm. a long time. I'm kind of, I believe in like having... Wishy-washy. I am a little wishy-washy, <laughs> but like I have I have certain ideas in my head and I believe in like the way that I I like to eat. I really, I really enjoy it, you know? But uh, yeah, I haven't committed to being vegan for even months at a time. Like if it happens for weeks, it's all good, but it's not something that I'll necessarily even be able to recount to you that, oh, for these amount of months, I was strictly vegan. Sure, sure. Because that's it just kind of happened or yeah, not. Yeah, and like, in my opinion, like, in life, like, you have to kind of be able to have certain things like eggs and dairy at different moments in your life if you want it and you decide to have it. I don't want to ever feel bad that, hey, I was trying to abide by a vegan diet and mm-hmm. then I messed up, you know? Yeah. That never feels right to me, so I'm kind of... Slightly wishy-washy, but for the most part, yeah, I would so, say I'm vegetarian. A, a couple follow-up questions in your fridge. Yeah. yeah, do you have eggs? For sure, I have eggs. Do you? How much cheese do you eat? So cheese, I got to tell you, I don't eat a lot of cheese. I'll probably have cheese like uh, maybe. I mean, like once a month, sometimes it can be like a little bit longer. Like obviously, if I'm craving pizza, I'm not going to go for like a, yeah. um, a substitute cheese because I'm not necessarily a fan of those substitute cheeses mm-hmm. the textures or like the consistency throw me off a little bit and like i said like i want to enjoy a pizza so yeah. i'll never be like no you can't have that because i'm trying to abide by something i definitely will have cheese once in a while cheese is so good how do you only have it so once a month good. so it carries cheese in his pocket yeah oh, i shoot. often i have a bad yeah, habit yeah. i buy a bag of cheese i just snack on it from my pocket like a bag of shredded cheese i no, guess no no that's, <laughs> no that's that uh, although I, I was about to say that's crazy as if what i do isn't well, shredded you, know, bag. Cheese. you know when so you go when, to the grocery yeah. uh, the 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 the, the depenar and there's those little bags of curd cheese oh for sure dear. that's that's the weirdest impulse yeah. buy that I, that gets me almost Almost every time. Yeah, yeah. Well, curd cheese is so good, though. So How good. can you not? Yeah. And it's always like our Quebec curd cheese, which makes you feel like it's, yeah. you know, that much. A little patriotic cheese. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do want to clarify something. Mm-hmm. So you are saying that vegans are our common enemy, then. Like, <laughs> like yeah, the meat eater, the vegetarian, and we can be friends because we all hate the vegans. <laughs> oh, sh- Right? We hate the vegans. That's a strong word. I it's have like, so well, many look, vegan friends, hate, though. But, like, if, you, if one of your vegans... Vegan friends fell in the mud. Yeah, you surely would not help them up, <laughs> right? I'm a helpful person. I might. Okay, you look past your your differences yeah, just for yeah. that moment. But. For sure, like, I, I feel like my my distaste of vegans ends at like an eye roll. Like, oh, okay, okay. Right. Yeah. I can understand vegetarianism. I'm fine. You can. It's. it's I, you trailed off there like it sounded like. Well, I, don't I started know to what not I'm believe saying. myself, but but it, when you're but vegans just seem like they want to. Not only do they want to be uh, healthy, air mm-hmm. quotes. I'm saying for mm-hmm. for veganism, mm-hmm. but it seems like their goal is to inconvenience everyone around them. Well, I don't know mm. about that. Not vegetarian. Yeah, yeah. Not vegetarian. Vegan. If they're preparing all of their own food, yeah, it's not how, bad. How, it might get how a little many expensive. Times have your vegan friends been an inconvenience to you, Mira? <laughs> feels like getting you in hot water here. Yeah, yeah. Um, an inconvenience, man. Probably, like, I, I feel like I got to say, like, not ever. Uh, because I'm so, like, 
to be honest, that's that's me, right? Like I'm I'm really willing to like yeah. accommodate people. So if I know that somebody's coming over with this allergy or isn't eating, you know, even some people that I know like don't eat bread or grain that often, you know, mm. like actually grain they'll have, but like maybe if it's like certain you know breads or buns or these kind of things like i'll really really accommodate them it's just kind of how i do you know i guess it's a different lifestyle i'm not i don't really know any vegans and the only one i ever knew Mm -hmm. would always be really not even your friend anymore well we couldn't (laughs) couldn't do anything together because it was just they weren't able to eat anything ever i I took that as a sign of uh hostility towards me oh you shouldn't I know. I so, so imagine this. So, I have a I have a boyfriend that I've been with for almost ten years, okay. and so he actually became a vegetarian like almost three years ago. But that was on his own terms mm-hmm. completely. I I suppose like I I do most of the cooking, but um, it wasn't it wasn't like on my on my account. I wasn't like an ultimatum over here at well, all you because. No, but he... If you want to slip in some he, bacon, it'd be fine. Yeah, like we obviously uh, are are intimate and he had seven years where he ate meat and I it didn't bother me at all. I've actually had meat eaters in my family too. Like my brothers, uh, one of my brothers still eats meat. My dad used to eat meat. He eats like uh, seafood at the moment, but mainly vegetarian. And like, I feel like all of majority of my friends from high school too, like you guys included, like I don't think you could ever say that... Uh, I've I've made a thing or no, made you guys really feel good. bad, but, right? Yeah. Like, but I, like if I became a vegetarian, yeah. would I then be in the in crowd with you, and maybe <laughs> I would know things that you I wouldn't be privy to uh, at this point. Like, I wonder if there's like derogatory slang for meat eaters that you only talk about in your circle of vegetarians. You know what I mean? Like, is there? Uh, I don't. <laughs> you're not helping I don't. me. Out. <laughs> You're just you're, you're just you're just sitting on the fence here. Actually, you're not even sitting on the fence here. You're on Mira's side. I don't know. I'm I'm not not I feel like Mira. I'm firmly yeah. on the fence. I, I don't I don't care what people eat. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> I for the most part I don't really care what people eat yeah. either. Like I, I just want to. If you eat. guys are if you guys are happy doing what you're doing, yeah, then why not, right? And the same way that I feel like I'm not extremely strict about my diet either because I like to enjoy life. I'm mm-hmm. never going to be somebody who's so staunchly against dairy or eggs. So if or... I if I put a steak in front of you right now and yeah. I told you this is actually the best steak yeah. in the world, everyone agrees. Mm-hmm. Would you take a little bite? Um, just a little bite. A little bite. Just to so taste it. So I've actually might... tried meat mm. before. I've definitely taken mm-hmm. a bite of a couple of burgers. Like, uh, but like it's been so long. Um, you know, like the texture is not something I'm like familiar with. I can't even tell you right now if I would or I wouldn't. Like, if you were really, I feel like it has I feel like in my heart right now. I want to say it. that I wouldn't. Okay. Yeah, it's a good call. There's but, probably people waiting outside your place right now. Oh my god. <laughs> The yeah. I love this like no. this like a uh, 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 pitchfork and torches well, idea. These are like you have. vegetarian yeah. elders. <laughs> They're going to be waiting outside your place, ready to revoke your card. And... <laughs> you know, it's so funny that you mentioned like. Oh, I think it was probably over 10 years ago that I I tried a piece of a McDonald's burger, okay? okay. Um, I think we were in high school, at the end of high school, mm-hmm. and we'd gone on some trip, and we had gone skiing, and then we came back, and we stopped at the McDonald's on our way back. And a friend of mine who wasn't even there, but I had mentioned to her at a later point that I had tried a piece of the <laughs> McDonald's burger, she'll hold it to me till this day. That's crazy. And it's so crazy because, yeah, she wasn't there. She didn't even see me do it. And I've basically forgotten it because it's like it's not... So it's, it's so inconsequential, yeah. so irrelevant to my life really but she'll always remind me that hey you tried it you tried a burger that day and i'll be like yeah i did what's the big that's deal a that's a shame that you when you decide to eat meat you tried yeah. a little mcdonald's i know right yeah. i could have tried something so much better so maybe uh one day if you think of a burger that you guys right. rate a 10 oh if we ever find if that you 10, guys, that if you ever find burger. that 10 you let me know you let me know <laughs> we'll get you to change yeah. change over now matt uh, uh mira you mentioned your dad eats seafood yeah i can get behind that i love seafood yeah my Seafood's belly doesn't love seafood animal. but i love seafood yeah, yeah. my mouth loves it I know you do. I actually remember you eating uh, some escargots at La Stanza <laughs> oh, back La in the Stanza. day. Wow. You took it like a champion, though. Like, again, like, I don't really, I've never eaten escargots, mm-hmm. so I don't know, like, how it's done. But I remember, like, people at the table reacting, because I guess it's like it an escargot little, in butter, garlic butter, right? In, like, a little 
bread bowl, basically. It's like a okay. like almost like a cream puff, but instead of cream, it's a little escargot and garlic butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the and texture is it. a little weird, but I'll try anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These aren't escargot from France. Like you went to an no. all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> yeah, escargot. Like yeah. that's different. You had snail. <laughs> <laughs> I had just straight up garden snail. Yeah, yeah. Garden variety snail. Now that's what you had now. Uh, when we were getting ready to do this show, I had a memory mm-hmm. that involved your father. What? Uh, a burger memory. <laughs> really? Your father used to call me the chicken burger guy. Shut up. Do you That's remember so this at funny. all? So at one of your <laughs> birthday parties, there was like food being made and I had, I think I got there late and your dad made me a chicken burger. And then for like probably two years, I was the chicken burger guy. That's so funny. But that's how my dad does. He'll like <laughs> always associate some like a person with a name that he's decided to. <laughs> he made you the chicken. Burger. <laughs> That's, he didn't pretty, ask for the chicken That's pretty burger. classic he of my dad. And I said, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he yeah. And I was the chicken out. burger. Yeah. Yeah. He had yeah. to plan it out. <laughs> it's like finally someone took the bait. Now, now uh, we all worked on the high school yearbook together. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And uh, like that would be the only time your vegetarianism would inconvenience matthew where like we would order pizza for and make sure. half of it a veggie pizza or something yeah, yeah. thanks guys but I now is that it. an issue for you matthew because i love a veggie pizza <laughs> it's all coming out now matt is. matt is gonna let me like, know how like upset I'm he was no i i do want to i know we're having a lot of fun here tonight uh, <laughs> but i don't think of you as mira the vegetarian i think of you as mira my friend uh <laughs> i just have a lot of questions about the vegetarian yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I need to, uh, I feel like what safer place to ask these questions than here and I uh, may may have made a lot of assumptions mm-hmm. as to the uh, the secret clubs that vegetarians might be enlisted in but uh, I think I think I just need to ask the questions and I'll yeah, get the answers ask away um, <laughs> I'm so happy to answer. I'm not taking offense to any of this no so it's I, all good. and you know <laughs> having a having a pizza split uh, down the middle mm-hmm. that's that just seems fair. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. Man, you're being so reasonable. <laughs> as long as none of your uh, non-meat touches my meat, I think we're okay. Mm-hmm. Matthew, I feel like you should try being a vegetarian for like three days. I once had rice with nothing <laughs> with, with uh, nothing in it because I didn't have anything other than the rice. Yeah. I didn't like it. Well, no, because it had nothing Plain in rice. it. You want some peas and carrots in there and you're already better. Peas, peas, carrots, and some spices. These are all just side dishes. Where's the meal? Well, I mean, you could have lots of... rice is like a number one staple in a lot of different countries. You use that to torture people with. Well, who's... What? Kills birds at weddings. Well, that's not torturing people, is it? Well, you you torture somebody by making them eat a bunch of dry rice till their bellies are full of dry rice. And then you... Is is that a method of torture? And then you make them drink boiling water. water. The boiling water is torturous enough, but then it expands in their bodies, and all of the rice just rips through them. Is this is this a torture that you've heard of before? Did you just make this up? It's got to be a torture. <laughs> it's got to be. And they learned it from the birds. Yeah. See the birds eating it all, and then it expands in their body juices. Mm-hmm. So why not do it to people? So do you really think you need the boiling water poured down your throat? It's added uh, torture. Yeah, I guess. Matthew, I feel like I've I've got like a pile of recipes and I could give you like four recipes and you'll eat vegetarian for two days and you'll go, not that bad. And you'll still like meat, but you'll realize that you could be vegetarian. Yeah, in an alternate universe. Could be a lot do you of like uh, do you like vegetarian food? I mean not vegetarian, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Indian food? Indian food? <laughs> now this is the thing. Your mm. your your mother used to make delicious Indian food. So I was, I was told it was very difficult for me to enjoy food because it was so spicy. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I feel like that was spicy. So that I feel was like a common complaint. But not just, it's any Indian yeah. food I've ever really tried. I can, I can eat a little bit of everything. And then it's like, okay, now my mouth is on fire. I'm starting to feel a little, I'm not, my body's not accustomed to it. But now that's where the rice comes very in. good. Right? Oh, the rice does cool, yeah. cool your lips oh, down. Yeah, the rice and rice the, the, the chapati, like the bread, right? Yeah. Like so the that's... Rice, yeah. Rice is either a torture. Uh, <laughs> method or it's a way to a relief a relief for some other torture me- method of, of hot hot heat in your mouth <laughs> oh matthew i feel like you're the type of person who just like microwaves a dozen hot dogs and lies on the couch eating them <laughs> that's, 
that very really insulting. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why couldn't I be the one who cooks a steak every night and just and, and sits upright at a table and enjoys that? Meal? Well, I'm not saying every night. I'm saying like twelve hot dogs. 